Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I have with me right here, this is M Stand by Rain Design. And not only is it a gorgeous, look at this, beautiful, beautiful stand for your beautiful, bombastic MacBook Pro. Look at that. Space Gray City looks gorgeous, fantastical, and you even get like a nice little manual and all that kind of stuff to see what other designs they have. My friends, this stand actually works as a massive aluminium heat sink to keep your MacBook Pro cooler. And yes, I have actually tested it out. And I'll cut to it, I'll have the test at the end of the video so you can inspect it for yourself. But if you have a MacBook Pro flat, flat on the ground, on the surface, not only is it noisier, but it took me an extra minute for it to cool down compared to when I had it on a race stand like this. Boom shakalaka, amazing, look at that. Cooler, cooler experience. Now the reason why I've gotten into these stands is my previous MacBook Pro actually burnt up on me. I'm a heavy user. I use these MacBook Pros like MacBook Pro Cities should be doing Pro Mode, City, all that kind of stuff. And unfortunately that guy burnt up. So I've been now keeping my MacBook Pro all the way to the side. Not only does it keep, actually keep it cooler, for me anyway, less fan noise, fan noise slightly further away, but it also increases the airflow going to my MacBook Pro. Look, check it out. Look at all the air coming in, all this beautiful distance far away from the ground. Because when you have your MacBook Pro on a table, the heat just reverberates up and down. It builds like a nice heat chamber here and it can, you know, damage your MacBook Pro. That's what happened to my previous one. And I have actually ran through a test. I ran through the Unreal Engine test, the one that destroyed my previous MacBook Pro. And this actual stand, this actual stand, cooled down my MacBook Pro one minute faster than if it was on the table itself. And this was just a short five minute burn through test. If I had my MacBook Pro being used for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, imagine the benefits that could be done with this system. So not only is it a gorgeous looking design, looks fantastic, gives you a little bit more height, bare ergonomics, all that kind of stuff. So I'll be surfing the web, checking out all that kind of good stuff. Mr. Lobo, 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 Mr. Lobo. Check it out, look, you can lift the lid from this position. Perfect, amazing. Look at this, look how it spins. The MacBook Pro with M stand has a circle area. You know, actually one of the cool features right here, look, it doesn't take over the space. You can actually put stuff underneath. Not like my previous plastic stand. Look at this one. You put the MacBook Pro on this guy and that space is gone. You can't put anything underneath. But with the M stand, look at it, it's raised. It runs cooler than the plastic stand from Ikea and you can put stuff underneath. So gotta say it looks gorgeous, looks nice, looks beautiful, M stand. What do you stand for? I stand for M, M stand incorporated. Also for you avid fans out there, it also makes the fans sound less aggressive. That's right, when the fans are going wild on the table, it sounds It's about actually the same noise when I'm measuring it, but it sounds a lot more high pitched than when it is slightly raised. Do you know why that is? It's because the air, the air has room to expand and fly away and create less noise. It's amazing, isn't it? And for bonus points, guys, if you want to keep a nice, less noisy experience, close the lid on your MacBook Pro. It actually sounds even quieter then. So this is the beautiful M stand. I got it in space gray to match my MacBook Pro. And I gotta say, it works. It makes your MacBook Pro cooler. It looks fancy. The only negative I say is if you're using any peripherals which aren't scientifically designed to work with a stand, it will be flopping off the side and it won't look that good. Actually, one cool thing I put in was just some hooks. That's what they called over here. Sticky stuff. So instead of my USB, my ill thought out short USB, just hanging off the side like a stupid person. I can actually stick it underneath like that and connect it to my MacBook Pro just like that. There you go. Look at that beautiful setup. Gorgeous. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this amazing scientific review of the M stand. Let me know what stands are you using for your MacBook Pro out there in the world. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Mr. Lobo Lobo. Lobo. All right, first up is the laptop just on the table directly. 
and we are operating at 63 degrees on the CPU. That's our temperature. That is the lowest it gets when Epic Games Launcher is running. So that is our starting base when it's on the table. So I'm gonna launch uh, stylized rendering. Let's see how long it takes to load up and do all the shaders. So straight away our CPU, our temperature shot up to 95 degrees Celsius, 98 degrees, 99 degrees, and the engine has loaded. It started compiling shaders. We're getting 3,500 shaders to go. The fans have now started to kick in. We're about 30 seconds into our test. Our frequency on the CPU is three gigahertz, and we're operating at 98 degrees Celsius. 694 shaders to go. Our CPU is 2.3 gigahertz right now. Our temperature of the CPU is starting to throttle down to 82 degrees, 40 shaders to go, and we are done. We've just compiled the shaders, and that took two minutes and 14 seconds. And now our CPU is shooting all the way up to 3.4 gigahertz, 3.6, and our utilization has dropped right down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close this down and see how long it takes for the fans to settle. So that's 4.53. Three. So it took just under five minutes to complete this lap. So now I'm gonna switch it up to the M stand and see how it rocks. All right, I've now got it set up on my M stand. It does look beautiful. Beautiful space gray suits everything inside. And temperature wise, we're starting around 60 degrees Celsius, 58 degrees, that's the temperature it's settled on with this extra airflow coming in. So let's start the show. Three, two, one, go. And straight away, our CPU temperature has shot up to 97 degrees. We've started compiling the shaders. We're actually down to 90 degrees centigrade, 92 degrees. So it's, it's actually lower, is it? No, 97 degrees, 98 degrees. So it's hitting its max. It's going between 98 and 95. And operating CPU is going between 2.9 gigahertz. Well, it's pretty much locked in at 2.9 gigahertz to three gigahertz. And we're pulling in 50 to 51 watts of power done so this one took two minutes and 12 seconds two seconds faster than without the race stand and we can see that the fans are going down now we're at 5300 we're just waiting for it to hit 4000 rpms to call it a day there you go done three minutes and 58 seconds so that is a whole minute faster than when the laptop was sitting on the base one whole minute faster so now i'm going to do one more test and that is just using a basic plastic raised stand, the cheap chips one from Ikea, see how that affects things. So our temperature is shot to 99 degrees. Well, currently right now it's 92 degrees, 93 degrees, and our CPU is going 3.2 gigahertz. 3 gigahertz, 2.9 gigahertz, so it slowed down and we're using 95% of our CPU and our temperature right there, 99 degrees, very, very hot. That's hotter, 100 degrees, 100 degrees right there. That's hotter than it was when it had the aluminium stand done so that's two minutes and 17 seconds to compile all the shaders that's slower than before all right that was four minutes and 18 seconds so what did we learn we learned that having it not on a stand makes your mac cool down the slowest having it on any stand makes it cool down fa faster then without a stand at all by about 30 seconds. But having an aluminium stand like the, the M stand, this fella here, it makes it cool down the fastest. So that was pretty useful.